How's the board and binding setup affect my style? Um, well, first of all, the boots, you know, Velcro. I hit a lot of rails, so in and out, easy access. Don't have to deal with laces. I hate laces. <laughs> um, so that's exactly what I wanted with these bindings. The board, you know, same thing, hitting rails, but I also ride boats, so I wanted something that I can take one board instead of two, because you can't hit a rail without a press board now. It's no fun. So taking one board is definitely key. Um, it's pretty fast. It's got three-stage rocker, unlike most press boards. Um, it's got channels throughout the bottom of the board, unlike a lot of them, which is pretty new for that. Tracks good on the cable, boat, behind the ski, whatever. Um, liquid rails. This thing's unstoppable. You can run it, jam it on the ground. It doesn't matter. So it's all around good for me. One thing I like about this board uh, is the way it rides, because I designed it to ride just how I want it and it does what I need it to do and that's good enough for me. One thing custom about this board is the wood core. Um, just makes the flex a little bit more consistent all the time. It doesn't break down like foam does and it's going to last a lot longer. My advice for buying a new board and bindings, you know, you can buy a package board that uh, get you through for a little bit but buying a pro model board is going to get you more set up in something a little bit more aggressive easier to ride, you know, going to give you that pop you need, and bindings too, especially. They're a lot safer, comfier, and, you know, I ride them, I like them, and I'm pretty sure you guys will too.